Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Loading. In this episode, I want to share um, this uh, Node 3 setup. Basically, the other day I was playing with this idea where if you have like a like a low poly 3D mesh and if you want to kind of just create the outline and um, kind of like a grease pencil like it's actually very similar to if you are using wireframe and you don't replace um, the uh, you have two materials for the, the actual 3D mesh and the outline um, so this, the idea is very very similar except that in in the case what I'm doing I am actually being able to separate uh, separate each and every edges um, and I can control the length of the edges so they, they can actually bleed out in a way they're it's kind of recreating grease pencil but more procedurally ideally uh, what I really want is to to be able to to see the outline the, but that has to be done with real-time shader anyway so with this Cricut um, node I'm gonna show you how it works so like I said the output is really just the the Cricut itself I can hide it and then the outline and they to on top of each other it looks like it's been drawn roughly it works really well on a low poly 3d so cricket node this is actually comes with sweatshop add-on first I have these polygons to edges and create unique edges for each and every uh, polygon face so I can have these edges and I separate it using polygon boom and for each edges I get the origin so I can later scale it so I can have uh, each and every edge just as it is so this looks like a hand drawn and this actually export out as AR USDZ as well for what, what I've been doing I have the preview of the edges here if you want and then what I did next is to simply randomize randomize the edges so they are slightly offset with this random number and then I have half length this one okay uh, just to get the length of each oh actually this one don't worry about, I mean this one is actually one set this one is just to resample the each and every edge so I resample it so I can actually kind of disturb and randomize it further so I get this uh, squiggle line it's actually kind of interesting it's really simple but and then the output is actually a curve it's a single curve I join it as a curve you can really just convert it to mesh right and then do you use uh, something like decimate decimate it further if you want to have more stylized this this shader um, maybe it's best to just turn it into emissions you know like just turn off the base color altogether no specular Yeah, it should be just black color, kind of like a real stroke. I I found that this, like a stylized 3D, especially with the with the outline, is really important, and I found it really appealing. It's a little bit like uh, maybe like a some painting that's using just brush strokes. It's very efficient, and I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you. Okay, this is the cricket. Uh, we can simply use shift right click and kind of reroute this using a different 3d object so it's expecting the vertices and the face data so again this is like a sphere it gives that illusions of this pencil and this guy if you do it properly Convert to mesh, file export 
USD selection only export USD and if we jump into the desktop see looks like hand drawn so it's for now I think this for certain 3d model this can work really well so like I say it works really well for a simple uh, low poly model oh did I break something uh, let's see oh interesting okay this this guy is becoming a mesh delete that's a uh, spare chalk we build it so that's with icosphere actually I found there's a okay this diamond mesh is actually very cool it changed the topology and Suzanne vertices face or you can use your own uh, Suzanne I think the scale of Suzanne also matters so if you use your own text for example I don't know if text is gonna work object mesh in or object in you definitely need to think about the, the topology get selections okay doesn't seem to work with this guy maybe we can try using pause modifier oh the text object okay because the text object is actually like a curve convert it to mesh solidify maybe remesh even remesh and then decimate good selection seems like it doesn't like something Okay, so it works. Maybe we need to scale it. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so basically, like I said, it's like a wireframe modifier, but except that you have more control over the edges. So if you actually find a way to kind of um, remove the edges that you don't want like a like in this case with the text you don't want to see all these lines going through the face so you you find some kind of ways or algorithm algorithm to remove those edges and so it should be better it's like it's a it's like um selecting edges with with the most uh with the, the most angle okay let me explain so if you have select the edge and select similar angle select similar face angle or select similar sharpness And then you can mark it. Maybe we, you can have more control over the, the stroke. Okay, I know. Um, let me do this. Convert two. If you do convert two, mesh, it's gonna delete all the modifier. So now we have you have this 
this guy over here select an edge select similar face angle Oh uh, yeah, it doesn't quite work, but if you can mask that, then you can have a better outline. Alright, so anyway, that's, uh, that's the trick. Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.